Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Eve. As you may have picked up from the title of this video, Today I am going to be doing my apartment tour for you. I'm so excited for this video. I have wanted to film an apartment tour for a while. I absolutely love watching other people's apartment tours. I would say that's like one of my favorite videos to watch. But I kept kind of thinking, oh, I'm not ready to do it yet. There's this I want to change and this and I want to, you know, there's so, always a list of things. But ultimately, I decided there's no perfect time to do it. I need to just be happy with how it is right now. I am so excited to be showing you guys my apartment. I have lived here for about eight months now. I absolutely love this apartment. I'm not sure if I'm going to live here another year. That is still very up in the air. I really do love it, but I've moved like every year the past year. So I don't know it almost feels like it's coming up time to move, but we'll see what ends up happening I am really happy here and just so thankful to be in this apartment. I graduated from Michigan State University last um, Spring, so this is my first apartment in post-grad life in college i always had roommates and i did have apartments there but they never really felt like home you know what i mean like this is the first apartment that i've been in that i feel like really feels like mine and feels like home so i'm so excited to show it to you guys and let's get started Okay, so when you first walk in, this is the entryway. There is just the door right here, lovely. And right here, I just have a little key hook, pretty self-explanatory, just some keys there. And then here, I have this entryway table, a circle mirror above. These are some fake olive branches. My diffuser here, I have this on like all the time, constantly running under here. This is like oils and incense. This is the diffuser oil I am typically using. It is the Volcano Scent from Anthropology. I love their candles and the diffuser oil is just as good. Okay, they're, they are curious what is going on. For anyone that doesn't know, these are my cats, Rex and Rory. This book here is from Amazon, and I think I found this one at Home Goods, but they also have it on Amazon. And then I love this little mango bowl here, which I found at Spring Sweet, a store in Holland. It is just so cute. And then, oh, this candle is from Anthropology. It smells so good, and I think I got it quite on sale, so I would recommend that one. This is just a little poof it is from cb2 and i always sit on that when i'm like putting on my shoes so just nice to have an entryway and over here is a huge closet which is my shoe and coat closet I'll give you a little peek it is it is quite full so that is what is in there just mostly storage so coming over here i have these tall glass shelves that are just from target and I have them decorated up here. There are, as you can see, two plants. This plant, I don't even know what to do with. I have never been good with plants, but this one, it was tiny when I got it and it's just going crazy. So it's got this long arm hanging off here that I've just let do its own thing. I think this one over here is starting to get long too. Um, but anyways, these are mostly up here to keep them away from the cats. I originally wanted to make this a little bit more of a bar space but then we put the plants up here so we'll see but this rum actually Alec and I just got when we were in Puerto Rico it's like a new company that just started there and it was super cool we got to go on a tour but anyways then the shelves this candle I think is so cute there is a very similar one from anthropology that I can link but I actually found this up north Michigan at a little store um, I just have a little oil diffuser and some books. I'm obsessed with this Detroit book and a little crystal. And coming down here, I just have this cement bowl that Alec actually made for me. Excuse me. <sighs> the struggle of living with cats, you guys. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Um, these are just some beads that I got off of Amazon. And this is a little picture of me and Alec from my graduation. And then this vessel down here that I actually found it at home, which is really kind of random, but I think putting like the vessel and the books and the beads together definitely give it more of that like restoration hardware look. 
definitely lots of plants over in this corner, but this is just my bird of paradise plant. I have some moss in the bottom of the bowl. There's a bottle cap right there. Ignore that. The cats love to play with bottle caps. If you have cats, just give them a bottle cap and it'll keep them busy. Is that right? Oh, how nice. Cats do like to bat at it, but luckily she is holding on and still looking good. Over here is the laundry room. Pretty simple. The cat's litter box is in here, vacuum, washer and dryer. And then this is all just storage up here. Nothing too exciting. This is like the furnace closet and a ton of cleaning stuff in here. <laughs> but so nice to have laundry in my unit. In all of my past apartments, I had to do the laundry out in the hall or in a basement, so it is so nice to have it in here. So right here, there is a little chandelier, which I guess there technically is supposed to be a dining room table here. This is one thing, if you guys have any ideas or opinions i am very open to it i go back and forth all the time on whether i want a dining room table or not this space is obviously made for one but i just i feel like it's so weird having it right in the entryway honestly that's probably my least favorite part about the apartment and i actually looked into taking this down but it was not going to be easy and since i'm renting it just wasn't worth it so it's annoying but it's there any ideas Please let me know, show you the space from further away. Coming this way is the kitchen. It is definitely not a huge kitchen, but I've made it all work. There is a decent amount of storage throughout, just not a lot of counter space. Um, I do like to do a lot of cooking, so I'm glad I have the island. That is, that is big, but not a lot of space like over here counter i just have this paper towel holder which is from crate and barrel and then a matching utensil holder also from crate and barrel my blender that i have out here because i use it almost every day coffee maker electric kettle this is just a super basic coffee maker i honestly think we got it from costco I love just plain coffee in the morning. I know a lot of people do Nespresso and I just like don't like them that much. I don't know, maybe I'll convert eventually. But as for now, we just have some plain drip coffee. In here is just silverware, knives, my little frother. Then down here I have towels and oven mitts. And then this is all just good old plastic bags tin foil, all of that. Under the oven, I use this storage for all of my baking sheets. And then over here, toaster, some other stuff shoved up there. And then this is kind of random stuff and reusable straws. Up above the fridge, I just have these little cookbooks. And then in here, We've got some champagne glasses, shot glasses, and all the alcohol. Freezer, very full. <laughs> and then the fridge here, also quite full right now. Over here, I have a whole bunch of utensils. These Alec bought on Amazon. They're like little egg things. I don't think they work, but he loves using them when he, on a rare occasion, makes eggs. <laughs> and then down here, I just have cutting boards, my blender tops, and some pots and pans. Then, of course, over here, good old lots of cleaning supplies and trash bags. And then over here is the pantry, which is like my biggest storage space which is so nice it is literally packed full you can tell i need it most of the containers that everything is in is are either from amazon or home goods i think these ones are from amazon but then like all of these i found at home goods and then i do have a label maker that i like to label everything with that i also just got from amazon a few of these things i need to label still but yeah, that helps it keep it a bit more organized. And then this thing is just full of all sorts of chips and such. 
and then paper towel and the cat food. You're just following me everywhere, aren't you? <laughs> oh, that's great. Are you a dog? Do you think you're a dog? You're gonna chew everything? But I try to keep it pretty organized, so very thankful for that. Dishwasher is actually running right now. Sorry if that's noisy. Just got a bowl with some fruit. And I love to have flowers on my counter just to kind of brighten it up. There's a ton of little buds, which makes me so happy that they're gonna bloom soon. Just a little nest candle. This one is the Moroccan Amber and it smells so good. Between that and the diffuser with the volcano, it just smells amazing. Over here is a window out to the porch and I have a lovely bowl of cat food, more cat food over here. So then over here, I also have just trash can and then this is the cat's fountain. They pretty much refuse to drink out of anything else. There is a bowl of water over there, but they don't drink out of it. They literally only use the fountain. Not the cutest, I know, but it's the best looking one I could find and they're obsessed with it. Right, dude? Hi, hi. Since I don't have a table, this is where I always sit and eat. And honestly, I feel like if I did have a table, I would still sit at the bar just because it's so easy. I actually found these bar stools at Home Goods. I found two at one store, but knew I needed three. So Alex's mom actually saved the day and found another one at a different Home Goods. So. All right, so now for the lovely living room, which is one of my favorite parts about this apartment, that the living room is so big. I have so much space here. And one of the main things I am gonna be talking about in this video is my couch. It is, in my opinion, one of the best restoration hardware dupe couches. I absolutely love it. Next to it here, this is a scratcher for the cats. It is jumbo and just fits right in there. I would rather have them scratch on that than on the couch. This couch is one of my favorite parts about the apartment. I feel like it is just such a statement. I was so nervous buying it because I had, I did see it in store, but still I was just very hesitant about it. I didn't know how it would look. I did all the measurements. That's one thing I would say. If you are moving into a new apartment and buying a couch, make sure you measure your space first. I was able to measure everything out to make sure that it would fit and know which rug size to get, which was really helpful since I was ordering a lot of stuff before I actually moved in. But this couch is the Value City plush sofa. I think it is definitely one of the best cloud couch dupes I've ever seen. I just have this sofa where it's all one piece because obviously that is all I could fit in an apartment. But if you have a bigger space, they have the modular couch just like the Restoration Hardware um, cloud sofa, how it has the different modular pieces. And I think it looks so good. The material is a really nice like it is white, but it has a little bit of texture in it. It is so easy to clean. I've gotten a lot of stuff out of it, so that has been so nice. I will say, if you are looking into getting a couch like this, it is a very messy sofa. Like, right now, I have it all fluffed, but the second I sit in it, it is, first of all, it's the comfiest couch you'll ever sit in, but it's going to immediately leave a mark. If you can't deal with fluffing it and want it to just look perfect all the time, honestly, this couch is not for you. I am constantly fluffing it because yeah, like that doesn't look great right after I sit on it. But you guys, this sofa is so comfy. It's so great for just like lounging on. And I do actually typically, take a blanket and cover the couch in a blanket when I'm gonna sit on it. I know that might sound like a lot of work, but honestly, it's not, and it's super comfy to have a fuzzy blanket you're sitting on, and it just helps the couch like not wear down and pill and get any stains on it. So long story short, it is not a low maintenance sofa, but it looks amazing. It's so comfy. I think this one is actually even a little bit deeper than the cloud couch. It's like, the same depth as the like extra deep cloud. So it is a big couch. Let me know if you guys have any more questions about the sofa. I honestly could probably do a whole video on just this couch. I love it and yeah, I, it is a fraction of the price of the cloud sofa. I think I paid just under a thousand dollars for this couch. So compared to what I would have paid for a restoration hardware sofa, that is a great price. This coffee table I am in love with. I 
Found it at Ashley Furniture, so another more discount store, but I think it really gives like the Restoration Hardware vibes. It is absolutely huge. Like this is, when I first got it, I was like, how am I ever going to decorate it? It is so big. I have several different coffee table books on my coffee table and throughout the whole apartment. I get almost all of my books from Amazon. Several of these things are from West Elm. This little tray is from West Elm as well as these coasters. And then I have a little wick cutter here, which is from Amazon. And then my Le Labo candle is, I got actually from Nordstrom. And then I have some eucalyptus in this vase right here, which this is also from West Elm. They have a lot of really good ones. The one on the entryway table is actually from there too. This bowl originally had moss in it and was like, I was going for that restoration hardware look with the moss but the cats couldn't handle that and wanted to play with the moss all the time so i just filled it with a bunch of polaroids and tv remote and this is just the air purifier remote i am obsessed with my air purifier i have another one in my bedroom but this is the dyson one and i love it it looks sleek and it also works so well and then these chairs which little bucko here is obsessed with are from Wayfair and then these little pillows are just from Target and they're honestly really deep and super comfy and yeah they look super cute so that is the full living room oh wait the lamp this lamp is from Target I absolutely love this lamp I think it is so cute and looks so good here also this blanket I have here, it is not real. It is not Hermes. It is actually from Amazon. I saw it in someone else's home tour and ordered it because I love the colors and the vibe of it. I just couldn't find anything that I liked as much. So it is a dupe. I got it off of Amazon. I can link that down below if they still have it, if you guys are interested. These are the blankets that I actually use on the regular. They are just barefoot dreams and the coziest blankets ever. Another thing I am could really use some advice on would be art. I would love to put a big piece of art here or maybe two pieces, something there. I just have not found anything that I like yet. So if you guys have any ideas, I want something very neutral, but I've thought about even doing like black and white pictures. I don't know, let me know what you guys think would look good in this space. <laughs> Now moving to my little porch. I absolutely love it out here. I'm so excited it's getting warmer so that I'm gonna get out here more, but it is pretty small. I, oh, it is like raining. <laughs> we just have some little lanterns over here. I'm obsessed with this rug. I like had like notifications on from to get it from Target for so long and then finally grabbed it when it went back in stock. These chairs are also from Target. I absolutely love them. They're so cozy. This is a little fire pit, which is the best thing ever for like a chillier night. Just have the fire pit on, sit out here, drink a glass of wine, so nice. And this is a little citronella candle also from Target. I think this table I just found at like Home Goods. And then we just have little lights all up there. So super cute and cozy i can't wait for it to get warmer so i can be out here more coming down this way i just have this little rug here which is just a nice simple gray and white little runner and then the bathroom is right here it is ooh, bright <laughs> it is pretty good size only one sink but a uh, lot of counter space, which is really nice. These lights um, in the mirror are one of my favorite things about this apartment and this bathroom. Such good lighting. Just a little picture there. And then over here in this closet, I just have some bath towels, hand towels. These are little washcloths I use for my face in here. This has all different like Q-tips, more extra cotton pads makeup bags this is like lotions got my little bath bubbles over there this is like extras of everything contacts that needs to be organized and this is all my vitamin extras that looks a little crazy this big one has my blow dryer curling iron and then down here oh we have a cat you guys these cats won't leave me alone but this is all toilet paper that he is currently attacking so hopefully that's not bad for cats these baskets i got from target and i love them they hold so much but make it look still 
nice. Shower, some hooks back there. I love this rug, it is from Home Goods. On the bathroom counter, I have this little salt rock lamp that I turn on quite a bit at night. Just a little mirror. This has cotton pads, Q-tips, cotton balls in there. And then going over here, my brand new hand soap and lotion I got from Sephora. And then just this little glass container, which I keep my makeup brushes in for easy access. This is the full bathroom. Nothing too exciting in here. <laughs> Over this way is my bedroom. It has so much natural light, which is so amazing. I just have a dresser here, mirror that is an air purifier. And then over here, classic Ikea Alex drawers. These drawers are so useful and literally packed full of stuff. I have all of my necklaces hanging on this, which I probably should get a better jewelry box, but I've just had this for forever and it keeps them all untangled. And then just perfumes on this little tray that I think I found at Home Goods. And then in here under him, my friend and I have matching little Buddhas. <laughs> Anyone else have a stash like this of perfume samples? It's kind of bad, but. I use them when I'm traveling and just like to keep those in there. Drawers have all sorts of things. I just have jewelry, a few pairs of sunglasses in here. This is, <laughs> this is a lot of receipts. I like to hold on to receipts at first just in case I need it, something breaks, I need to return it, whatever. In here is belts, a bunch of masks. Did you just pop out from behind the mirror? <laughs> And then going down is just bras, underwear, socks, all that. So very useful, very full. Ginormous mirror here, which honestly, this mirror is so great. I absolutely love it. I found it at Home Goods, and it was honestly probably only like a hundred dollars or so, which for this size mirror, I feel like is very impressive. It is very big, which is great. This is my closet. Pretty simple, just can't fit a ton in there. I would love a bigger closet. Over here is my dresser, which is absolutely stuffed to the brim with my clothes. These drawers are not too exciting. I just have leggings. I mean, I think this is sweatpants, t-shirts, jeans, nothing crazy. Down here, I actually use this for my exercise equipment. Um, it was difficult to give up a drawer for it, but I needed somewhere to put this, so that is what is in there. And this mirror was actually Alex's parents, and I just wanted another mirror here to open up the space even more. I had a different plant here, but the cats absolutely destroyed it, so this one was actually a gift from a friend that gave me it this weekend. Just some candles. I am hoping to replace this lamp soon. This is just from Ikea. It has my red light in it. I have a queen bed. I would love to get a king bed. Buying a king bed means I have to get a new headboard. I have to get a new like box spring, all that stuff. And that just has been on, it's on my list of things to do eventually. I also want to get another nightstand and like move the bed over, but we'll see. I don't know if it's worth it because I think within the next few years, I or next year honestly probably i want to get like a whole new bedroom set this nightstand is from ikea and so is the dresser this picture is the amalfi coast from society six absolutely love it it's just very good vibes so yeah that is the full bedroom in the hallway there is just this little closet which is really nice to have a lot of storage i have all of my hoodies in here and just some other ring light, lots of other storage in here for the random things that don't have a different home. <laughs> and then going over here is my office, which if you've watched my office renovation video, you will see that this area I just recently redid. It used to be really, really ugly when I first moved in, but I just have this ginormous comfy reading chair and little reading lamp. This chair is from our house. This was my first ever Barefoot Dreams blanket and I love it. This lamp is also just from Target. Little basket with blankets and then these shelves that I put up in my video that are just decorated. This 
this little vase here is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It is from the Creative Co-op store on Amazon. Um, I am obsessed with that store. They have so many cute things and it definitely gives off that like restoration hardware vibe. These little beads my friend Kylie actually made for me. They are so cute. I love these ones. And then here I just have coffee table books which are all from Amazon. These are actually like some yoga books here, but I just like the way they looked and then these little bookends I wish I could tell you where they're from. I know they have really similar ones at West Elm, but Alec <laughs> Alec got these at like a rock show in middle school not kidding and they are now in my house. So Here is just a classic home goods candle smells so good and this is actually the cover to my Tom Ford book So the, for those of you that don't know when you buy the Tom Ford coffee table book You pretty much get two because it comes in a cover. So this is just like The inside is hollow But it honestly looks like another book. So it's like two for the price of one honestly and then my lovely printer that I actually use all the time, mostly to print labels to ship stuff from Poshmark. So that is there. And then this little blanket basket is just from Target. I love these baskets. As you may have noticed, I have like three. They are just so nice to throw blankets in. And then over here is my desk. It looks very manly. It is not the cutest thing ever. This bin is actually this like lifts up and it is completely filled with all of the cat's toys. So yeah, the desk, I just have a big monitor, literally three laptops on the desk right now. That's Alex, my work laptop, and then mine and his iPad. But Alec actually made this desk. This chair is obviously like the ugliest thing ever, but we actually use the desk. Like I sit here a lot of my day, so Honestly, this chair is just actually really comfortable. It's got some great back support, so obviously I would prefer it if it were a little bit cuter, but it's practical and it's comfy, so. This is just another big closet. It has a lot of storage in it, and then also Alex clothes. So you guys, I think that is the whole apartment. All right, so that is it for my whole apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some inspiration. I know a lot of people are, it's kind of getting to the point of moving season. A lot of people are thinking about moving or graduating from college and getting your first apartment. So definitely comment down below if you have any questions and also if you have any ideas or suggestions for me for some artwork or what I should do about a table. And if I should get a table, what kind of table, where should I get it from? It needs to be pretty small because it's not a huge space. So definitely let me know what you guys think. I am absolutely no design expert. This was my first time decorating, designing a home. I spent a lot of time on it though. I literally had no joke, like a PowerPoint where I would literally use Photoshop and like design the room. I, I should show you guys that. It's pretty funny, but since I knew I was gonna be moving in here, but I didn't get it for a couple months, I had it all planned out. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.